now I've successfully uh, presented the data through the box and whisker plots, I now want to try and analyze whether there's a statistical difference between these two data sets, whether in fact the migrant and the host incomes are, are different. So uh, what I need to do first of all is I need to rank all of the data. And this time, unlike our previous test where we ranked each of the populations themselves, we're gonna rank all of the data together. So the easiest way I find to do this is take each of the incomes uh, and rank these by highest to lowest, or lowest to highest. I'm gonna do that the same with both of them. I've ranked the host ones, and now I'm gonna rank the migrant ones. And I'm gonna start at the bottom um, with number one, the smallest income, which was $7,000 down here. And I'm gonna work my way up. Here's the second one, the third one, I've now got two that are joint, so I've had positions one, two, and three. The next two would occupy positions four and five. So actually, we're going to take the average of those positions and call them both 4.5. So four and five have gone, so the next one would be six. And I've got seven, eight, nine, ten. I've now got two that would fit 31,000, so they'd be in at 11 and 12, so they're both going to go in at 11.5. So 11 and 12 have gone, so the next one would be 13. I've got two tied again, so they're going to be 13 and 14, so they'll go into 13.5. So 13 and 14 have both gone, so the next one is 15, 16, 17. I've now got three that are tied, so they'd fill 18, 19, and 20. So I'm going to average those out. So they would be 18, 19, and 20. So this time they're all going to be 19s. I've got 18, 19, and 20. So the next ones would be 21 and 22. So they're going to be hard. 21.5, 21.5, uh, 21 and 22 have gone. So the next one's 23, and the last one is 24. Now, quick check, have I done that right? My last one, my highest one is 24. Have I got 24 bits of data? I've got 11 in there, I've got 13 in there, that's 24 overall. So I have finished on the right number. I must have done something right in there. Right, my next step is to sum each of the ranks. So in here, uh, I'm just gonna call this bit in here, sum of ranks. So my equation equals sum, open brackets, and then I'm gonna grab the array with all the data for the host incomes. In this case, it's B3 colon uh, B13, close brackets, and that gives me the sum in there. I'm going to do the same under this one for the migrant incomes, equals sum open brackets, and then the array that I want the data from uh, in there. That gives me two different values in here. I've got sum uh, of R in there, and uh, I've got sum of the migrant incomes down in this one. So I then need to think what my uh, equation is for calculating these. And actually, I need to work out first of what the n value is, the size of the population. And the size of the population in the host income is 11. The size of the population here in the migrant incomes is 13. If you look, if I'm just highlighting these, I can see down the bottom uh, in the footer down here what the count is. It's 13. Or I can see as I highlight these up top left, it says it's 13 rows by one column. So I know my n value in here is 13. So the test. Uh, to calculate the test statistic for this set of data, uh, I need to do equals uh, the number in this uh, in this population here, 11, times the number in this population over here, which is 13. Then I need to add uh, the number in this one over here, which is 11. I need to multiply it by uh, n plus 1, so 1 bigger than the value on here and divide by two and then i need to subtract the sum of those r values so let's see, let's see that again that uh the n value for this data set 11 multiplied by the n value for this data set over here which is 13 plus n times n plus one divided by two subtract the sum of the r values for in here so I'm going to do that on both sides. So on the second side over here, I'm going to do the same thing. So equals, um, I now want the n for this value over here, which is 11, multiplied by the n of this value over here, which was, uh, sorry, 13 times 11. Then I'm going to add on this side 
the n value, which is 13, multiply it by n plus 1, which is 14, and divide by 2. And then I'm going to subtract, this time, the sum of the r values over on this side. So this gives me uh, two values in here. And I'm going to call this value over here u uh, h, the uh, u value for the host incomes. I'm going to call this one over here u m, which is the u value for the migrant incomes. The next stage I do is I take the smallest of those two values. So here I've got 89 and a half, here I've got 53 and a half. So the value that I'm going to take forwards to look at the critical values table is the smaller of those two. So um is smaller, take 53.5 to critical value table. So uh, I've got a critical value table underneath here. And my critical value table on here, I'm looking for a critical value to, uh, based on the size of my two uh, data sets. So I've got n equals 11 for uh, the host incomes, n equals 13 for the migrant incomes. So on my table here, I will look for an 11 on one side, and I'll look for a 13 on the other side, and I'll find a critical value in the critical value table of 31. Now, it doesn't matter which way round I go on here, because if I took 11 down here and I went to 13 down here, I'd also find 31 on here. The table is symmetrical running through the middle. But my critical value that I'm looking for is 31. So I'm just going to move this out of the way down here. So critical value for um, n equals 11 and n equals 13 is, I can't remember what it was now, 31 is 31. And I compare the two. Now, the, the uh, test statistic I got was 53.5, and the critical value was 31. Now, the test statistic is larger than the critical value. So 53.5 is bigger than 31. Therefore, there is no uh, statistical difference between the two data sets. Um, the incomes are not statistically different. So had I come out with a value here uh, that was smaller than 31, if I'd come out with a value here that was 20, for example, I got down here and I'd uh, got a smaller value on one of these, I would then be saying that my value, my smallest U value on here was smaller than the critical value on the critical value table, and there would have been a statistical difference between the two data sets. But in my case, my test statistic, the smallest one of the two U values on here, is larger than the critical value uh, on the critical value table, and therefore there is no statistical difference between the two data sets.